guys welcome back okay so today we're gonna play in some makeup of course as usual but along with using some of the products that I pulled from my shop my stash for my complexion and all that good stuff I did want to try out a new palette that I received just I don't know in the last day or two maybe it came What's the day? Sorry. Yeah, I think it might have came yesterday, actually. So this is from ColourPop. It's the Garden Variety Eyeshadow Palette. And this packaging, I don't know if you guys can see it, but some of it is shiny and slick. It's really, really pretty. And it's like raised. You can feel the lettering. You can feel the flowers. It's really pretty. I love this packaging. And the colors are gorgeous. I think it really does say garden, floral. It's just pretty. So this is what the back looks like. It has the name of the shadows. It's also raised or, you know, little bubble items on here. Very, very nice. And this is a shadow palette, a pressed shadow palette. So... You know, it has pressed pigments, beautiful, beautiful shimmers in here, you guys. Now, when I first saw this palette teased, I was like, mm, yeah, I look a little light. <laughs> it looks a little fair, okay. And ColourPop has been releasing quite a few lighter and more palettes geared towards what I would think is fair, you know, skin tones, fair to medium. But as I look at this bottom row, I see that there are, you know, some deeper mattes in there for me to play with. And the shimmer shadows look absolutely gorgeous. Now, this palette, which currently is still available, I believe. Let me check right quick. Yeah, right now when I'm filming this, it is available. This palette retails for $20, you guys. So it's not too bad. There's, what, 15 shades in here. But yeah, it retails for $20. Now, it says here that this fresh 15-pan eyeshadow palette is the perfect mix of vibrant pops of color and rich earth tones, featuring a range of finishes from matte, metallic, and the famous Super Shock shadows from ColourPop. Um, it says, create the most dimensional looks any time of the year. <laughs> so I don't know about all of that, but I'm going to try and create something at least semi-bold with this palette today, but it's very, very pretty. So let me go ahead, jump into some swatches, and then we can move into an eye look. So these are all the swatches for this palette. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I mean, the shimmers look really pretty and there are, like I said, just a few darker mattes for me to play with. So we'll just see what we can create today. Now, when I bought the palette, I also grabbed this like blush and lip oil duo. This says Herb Appeal, which is the one that I chose. I think me and my girl DJ picked out the same one. She told me about it and I was like, oh, that one is cute. <laughs> so this one here, the color on this blush is whole nine yards. And so this is what the packaging looks like. Really cute. And this is what the blush looks like. So it does appear to have like a slight, slight hint of shimmer in there. I don't think you can see that, but it does look like there is a slight hint of shimmer in there. So that's pretty. I'm going to try that out today as well. And then in this duo box comes a Lux Lip Oil. This packaging is so cute, you guys. <laughs> and I know right now they're really you know going in with the lip oils this one is called local time <laughs> okay so this one is called local time now i did pick up another lip oil in the shade gen zen and they actually look very very close to me in shade but they're slightly different so the zen gen is a little bit lighter than the one that came in the duo but they actually look extremely close in color which I really I feel like with the lip oils it doesn't matter just because of the fact that when you put them on they pretty much all look the same you really can't see the color so I don't care about that I basically just have two lip oils <laughs> which is okay so I'm going to start out by prepping my lids with my P. Louise base 
and then we can move forward with this eye look today. Okay, you guys, so my lids are all prepped with my P. Louise base. So let's go ahead and jump into this palette. I've really been eyeballing this shade here. So I'm going to start out with this one in the upper portion of my crease. Okay, so that color is coming off a lot lighter than I thought it would. Let me try and build it up a bit more. Okay, so I brought you guys in just a little bit closer so you can actually see the color better since it's so light. It's a really pretty color, but it is building up nicely. You definitely have to build this up, at least on my skin tone, <laughs> to see the color appear. So I really, really like this color, you guys. It's very pretty, but it's definitely taking some building up. <laughs> A lot of dips in the pan for me to get it to this color so <sighs> just looking at it you know you can look and see that it is showing like it looks in the pan but you got to build it up okay so next I want to go into this gorgeous dark plum type shade here of course and really deepen up my crease Just the theme of this palette makes me want to do something kind of light and simple, <laughs> not too dramatic, which you guys know is hard for me to do, but I don't know. I just kind of want to try to keep it soft, which shouldn't be too hard with this palette. So I'm just building that shade up. Very, very pretty. These two colors look nice together. So now I'm just going to go back in with a little bit more of that first shade just so that I can make sure it's not completely lost from that purple. Okay, so let's play with some of these shimmers. I think I'm going to start out with this green and see how that looks in the inner portion of my I, you guys may notice sometimes I feel like cutting my crease with you know cut crease canvas or something like that and then other times I just want to put the shimmer on my lid <laughs> and that's how I feel today I just want to try it out on my lid no cut crease canvas and I'm going to try it dry first Okay, so if I just wanted like a light, soft flush of color, that's what it would look like. Now I'm going to go in wet. Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, so I have that green down. I did go in and build it up quite a bit with some wetting my brush and some tapping it on dry just to kind of get the most pigment out of it. I mean, it's performing to me like typical ColourPop shimmers, nothing different or crazy to me. Typical ColourPop formula. So if you're familiar with that, you know, their um, shadows are fine. You know, they take a little bit of extra to get them to, <laughs> to pop, but they work just fine. Okay, so next I'm gonna go into this gorgeous purple shade here, and I think I'm just going to go in wetting my brush to apply that next to the green. Okay, and so to deepen my outer corners just a bit more, I'm gonna go back into that dark plum type shade and just kind of tap that in the outer corners.
Okay, so I have that complete. This palette is a mess, you guys. I'm really tearing this palette up creating this look. There's quite a bit of fallout and I'm doing quite a bit of digging. So now, eyeliner. I think I'm gonna do a purple eyeliner today. Yeah, I'm gonna do purple. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my black liner first, of course. I use this to make sure I have a nice black line for my lashes. And then I will go on top of that with one of my NYX Vivid Liners. This one is kind of like the lavender one. <laughs> okay, so I have my black liner down. Now I'm gonna go in and try to neatly place some of the lavender liner on top of the black. Okay, you guys, so I did go ahead and pop on some lashes so we can quickly move forward. So I feel like I just did some green eyeliner in a look. I know I did, but you know what? Since the theme of this palette is garden variety and I'm going with the green and purple on my lid, I'm gonna go with a darker green liner on my lower lash line. not necessarily a dark green it's actually quite bright it's one of my LA girl um, what are these called the shockwave neon liners but when I compare it to my ColourPop liner the super bright green one it's a little bit darker <laughs> it's not quite as bright And I've really been enjoying keeping my lower lash line a little bit more light and airy, not so dark and smoky sometimes. So I kind of like to just pop that color on the lower lash line, add some mascara and go about my business. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today, but we do need an inner corner pop. So I guess for my inner corner, I'm gonna go into this shade here and pop some of that in my inner corner. And I'm going to spray so I don't have a bunch of fallout all over my face. Ooh, that's bright. And I usually like to just take a clean brush and just kind of tone it down a little bit. Okay, that's pretty, I like that. Nice and bright. A little bit of my Essence Super Curl Mascara. So I do wanna add a bit of color to my lips today. I don't wanna just kick it with this lip oil. I mean, it's nice, it feels really, really good. My lips feel very soft and nourished, but I wanna add some color for this look, so. I'm just going to take most of the lip oil off and I'm going to go in with a dark brown liner for my lips. And I will list everything down in the description box below as far as what I'm using. This is just one of my RK um, by Kiss Perfect Precision Liners. I use these on my eyes and on my lips. And it's a very dark color that I can't read right now. <laughs> Berry something or other. So I will put it in the description box. And I think that this DJ's Unique Boutique Lipstick will go perfect with this eye look. This one is in the shade, I can't talk. This one is in the shade Blushing Bride. Very, very nice lipstick, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I love how these lipsticks feel. It's just kind of like a really pretty light berry toned nude. It's so creamy 
and you see that pigmentation very very pretty i love that and it goes perfect with this eye look okay <laughs> i do have a link for dj's unique boutique if you are interested in picking up some of her lipsticks or some of her other items she has uh, lipsticks brushes palettes earrings locking tools if you wear locks in your hair just all kind of stuff you guys so make sure you check it out the link is in my description box below very pretty okay and i just need to set this face in place so i'm using my ciate london everyday vacay spray that i got in my boxy charm Okay, you guys, so this is the final look for this Garden Variety Eyeshadow Palette. I like it. It's very soft, very subtle, very dainty and girly, okay? I kind of feel like an earth child with this hairdo, okay? <laughs> but, yeah, this is it. I like it. It's very pretty. I think I went ahead and jazzed it up a little bit with the different eyeliners, but I still think it's nice and soft and girly kind of dainty I really like it so let me know what you think down in the description box I really like the blush and I like the lip oil as well I will definitely be slapping that on my lips you know instead of lip gloss sometimes just to kind of get them nice and soft and moisturized so that's it for today's video y'all <laughs> You'll probably see this look in another video or two because, you know, when I do my makeup, I'm ready to film, okay? So, let's see what we got cracking up in here that I can film for you guys. But, thanks so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!